In this session, let us discuss about the preparation of nanomaterials by using soil gel method. Soil gel method is the wet chemical technique which is uh, used for the preparation of variety of nanomaterials, especially which is used for the preparation of metal oxide nanoparticles. This method involves the formation of an oxide networks through two chemical reaction. One is hydrolysis reaction and the condensation reaction. The starting material or the precursor used in this process are metal alkoxide. We generally represent the metal alkoxide as MOR X times. The most common example for this type of nanomaterials which is obtained by using sodium method is titanium dioxide. Now let us see how to synthesize the nanomaterials by using sodium method. This process generally involves the following steps. First one is the preparation of soil. Second one is the formation of gel. Third one is aging of gel. And the last step is drying. Now let us see all these steps in one by one. First one is the preparation of soil. In this step, the addition of water to the starting material or the precursor is takes place. Here the precursor is metal alkoxide. So the metal alkoxide that is MOR X times metal alkoxide reacted with water molecules and the formation of metal hydroxide is takes place that is MOH X times along with the formation of alcohol. This reaction creating a stable colloidal solution known as soil. This is the first step. Second one is, second step is the formation of gel. Here, the self-condensation of the metal hydroxide takes place. So, in this step, the metal hydroxide, that is MOH X times, uh, react with each other and the formation of metal oxygen, metal bond is takes place along with the elimination of water molecule. This reaction lead to the formation of gel. Along with that, this reaction leading to the growth of nanoparticles. This is the formation of gel step. Third step is the aging of gel. In this step, the condensation process of metal hydroxide continues. And more and more uh, metal oxygen, metal bond link together. We can observe at here. More and more metal oxygen, metal bond link together. And the formation of alcohol bridge three dimensional network is expressed. So when mm, the condensation process of metal hydroxide continues, the formation of polycondensed gel is takes place. This gel is left to age to create strengthening of the network. This is the third step. And the last step is drying. That is the fourth step. When we dry the gel, the water and the other volatile liquids are removed from the gel network. If the liquid component of the gel is separated by just evaporation, then the obtained product is known as zero gel. If the liquid component of the gel is separated under superficial or near superficial conditions, superficial means the liquid is above the critical temperature and the pressure, where it behaves as both liquid as well as gas. It is superficial condition. Near superficial condition means the liquid is just below the critical temperature and the pressure. That is near superficial conditions. So if the liquid component of the gel is separated under the superficial or the near superficial conditions, then the obtained product is known as aerogel. This is the last step. Now let us see the diagrammatic representation of soil gel method. In this step, first we have to take the precursor. We represent the precursor as MORX. When the precursor undergo hydrolysis, the formation of solids takes place. Later, self condensation of for soil followed by polycondensation produces the gel. Then, the rapid evaporation of the gel produces zero. Suppose this gel 
is drying in a supercritical conditions, then the obtained product is known as aerogen. This is the diagrammatic representation of soil gel matter. Now let us see the advantages of uh, soil gel method. First advantage is this method provides a simple economic and the effective method which also produces high quality nanomaterials. One more advantage is here the sample can be prepared at low temperature. These are some of the advantages of uh, soil gel method. Now let us see some of the disadvantages of soil gel method. First one is this process control the growth of nanoparticles. One more disadvantage is here uh, the production rate is low. That means uh, this process takes longer time to make the final product. These are some of the disadvantages of soil gel method. So by using soil gel method, we can prepare lots of nanomaterials. And one of the most common example is titanium dioxide. Now let us see how to synthesize the titanium dioxide by using soil gel method. So while synthesizing titanium dioxide, the most commonly used starting material is titanium alkoxide, such as titanium tetraisopropoxide is taken as the precursor while synthesizing titanium dioxide. This titanium dioxide nanoparticles are most widely used in uh, most of the applications like uh, photocatalysis, solar cells, sensors, biomedical coatings, then self-cleaning surfaces, etc. These are some of the applications of uh, titanium dioxide nanoparticles. Now let us see the steps involved in the synthesis of titanium dioxide by using soil gel method. First step is the preparation of soil. Here, uh, the precursor, that is titanium alkoxide, react with water molecules. And the reaction is titanium alkoxide, that is CiOr4, react with the water molecules. And here, the formation of titanium hydroxide is takes place, that is TiOH4, along with the formation of alcohol. This reaction creating a stable colloidal solution, which is nothing but soil. This is the first step. Second step is the formation of gel. Here, the self-condensation of the titanium hydroxide is takes place. And the reaction is the titanium hydroxide, that is TiOH4, react with each other and the formation of titanium dioxide is takes place with the elimination of water molecules. This reaction lead to the formation of gel as well as uh, this reaction now uh, is leading to the formation of uh, nanoparticles growth. Third step is the aging of gel. Here the condensation process of uh, metal hydroxide that is titanium hydroxide continues uh, which results in, in the formation of uh, more and more titanium oxygen titanium bond. These bonds link together and the formation of uh, interconnected oxide network is takes place. And this gel is left to age to create the strengthening of the oxide network. This is the third step. And in the last step, that is the fourth step, drying. Here, when we dry the gel at uh, 50 to 100 degrees Celsius, the water and the other volatile liquids are removed from the gel network. In order to remove uh, the organic residues, the dried gel is uh, calcinated or heated at high temperature. So depending on the calcination temperature, different titanium dioxide phases like uh, anatase, rutite or brookite can be obtained.